Hi guys, welcome to Warlord Weekly. I'm Warlord Brett, and this week we're going to be working on a single sword shot that can be used hand matched or against the other hand. And it's basically just a different way to threaten the inside of the forearm. Okay, so let's look at that. When I'm fighting someone single sword, often everything will come here, come deep, but this is a very important location to be able to target and target well, okay? And there are different ways to do this. I believe we've already shown a video that has us turning over and turning a backhand or a straight chop in from the top side, okay? Another common way, this way I originally wanted to do it, is to basically throw a flat wrap in, okay? All of these are decent ways to do it, but they all have their downsides as well. And I'm going to show you kind of just a slight tweak, a slight variation that I really like and have gotten a lot of mileage over, okay? So first, let's talk about this flat wrap to the inside arm. It's got a great angle to hit, right? I'm dropping underneath his sword because the angle of my sword, where it's going in, it's a fairly good shot, and because I'm not turning my hand over, I still have an okay amount of safety, right? I can still return to guard if need be, okay? But when he hand blocks it, hand block it, I am a little lower than I would like to be if he comes back over, right? I can get up there, but it's a little bit far. The other problem with it is what if, instead of blocking it, he counter swings as I swing, right? It moves his hand out of the way and exposes my arm. You know, both are things that can happen. There are ways that we can counter it, but I'm gonna show you a little different variation that I think really helps, okay? So basically, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ta change this to a straight chop, okay? Just like the chop's gonna come here, I'm gonna come here, right? Now, the big thing that's gonna change is I'm going to make sure my hand stays inside his hand. Like if there was a line drawn to me, I don't want my hand to cross that line, okay? Will you turn him this way for me? All right, Maybe, hopefully you can see this. So once again, if there's a line right here, my hand does not want to pass that line. My hand's gonna stay inside of his hand. That's what's gonna give us a, that nice little uh, line to make the hit, right? All the way down his arm. All right, so coming back over here again. I'm gonna show it one more time, and the basics is just I'm gonna step, I'm gonna rotate my hand, and I'm coming in parallel to the ground, and look at where my elbow is. I'm really just, as I'm turning, my elbow comes in, and I'm gonna throw straight in, okay? The benefit to this that I really like is just where it puts my hand. It's such a safe shot to throw while still having a fairly good angle to get in and I'll show you why, all right? So now, I've thrown this and he hand blocks it. So get that hand block. See how much higher my hand is if he were to try to return, right? I'm almost already where I need to be. The other benefit is if I'm trying to throw shallow like this, and like we showed before, he just chooses to attack rather than defend, I'm pulling my arm out of the way naturally and my sword's getting in the way for anything that goes deep, okay? So I'm gonna show that one more time. Once again, my elbow is gonna stay down. My wrist is just gonna come out. And I'm just gonna throw straight in. I'm gonna say it again. The key to this is my hand must remain inside his hand. That's what is going to give us our angle, okay? Let's turn it this way. We'll show it again. All right, so I'm coming. I'm gonna let my hand drop. My elbow is gonna stay in, all right? My hand's gonna drop sideways, and it's gonna come straight across like this. Just leave your sword there for now, all right? Right like that. My hand is inside his hand. That's what's giving our angle, okay? Now then, I said we could use this hand matched or against the other person. So let's look at what we do if the person is holding the sword in their left hand, okay? So for these, I can use the same shot to the outside, throwing straight in, all right, but we can also just reverse this and throw, once again, just a sideways chop in like this, okay? 
the benefit, or you know, so when we're doing it this way, once again, it's just a straight chop. I'm just letting my elbow come out this time because I'm throwing it same side in. And my hand, once again, is focusing on staying inside his hand. That's what it's gonna give us that line. And once again, just look how defensible this is. All right, if he tries to come over, I'm here. If he wants to come around, I'm here, okay? This is all about creating an angle and a good angle to strike while maintaining a very strong defense, okay? So, that's my shot for today. Uh, why don't y'all go out this week, hopefully get some time to try it, see what you think. Uh, it's simple, but there is a lot to learning it mechanically. There's a lot to learning to how to set it up, but it's so much more safe than a lot of the other ways we use to attack the inside forearm. So I hope y'all like it, and uh, until next week, have a good one.